talk on it. Do you want me to talk on it? Yeah, yeah I don't know if I'll use okay, it. I'll tell you what. Um, Go on, then. We probably shouldn't be doing this. It's quite late at night. It's probably, I don't know, it's like, it's like 11 o'clock. We, I've got this piece of wood and I was just thinking it'd be great to turn what, what it into it? a bowl. It's a piece of ash, so a nice piece of ash. Yes, I have bought it from a shop. It's been seasoned, it's got a coat of wax around the outside, so that way when it's been seasoned, it hasn't cracked. Now we want to turn it into a bowl. How are we going to do it? We got to find the center so we can put the plate on it. Once we put the plate on it, we can then put it on the lathe, start turning it down to a bowl. But we need to put the plate on before that find the center. Yeah. The way I do it is yeah. I put that down, I take my ruler out, and I measure, and it is quite late. I'm not sure about numbers right now, but it says 13.5. What's half of that? What, 6.75? 7.8. If it was 4... No, it's 14. Actually, look, it's 14. Let's call it... Seven. So we go 7. It's just short... So let's go just short of 7. Let's go roughly... Roughly there. Then I'm going to take this. There's probably better ways of working this And what out. would you call this tool that you're using here? I think they're called a protractor, aren't they? Compass, so I've measured maybe a this compass. protractor right up to the 7 mark. And I'm going to use this a couple of times, put it right on the edge, just to try and find the center of my, what is hopefully soon to be a bowl. So I've done two, let's do a third. No, it's kind of not really working that well. But the idea is that you keep going and eventually... They'll, they'll meet in the middle. Eventually you should meet in the middle, but I've just stretched it, I think. Yeah, you've gone to eight so, and yeah, half I've there. stretched it way too much, so... And that is the trouble with having a loose protractor. There you go. So let's just do that again. Oh, in fact, which way do we want the bottom? Yeah, let's do that. So do that one there, one there, one there, one there. It's about yeah, right there. It, yeah. So we've got a few lines, but it's roughly there. And just to double check it, we can always use a ruler. Oops, seven. Yeah, that's how I'd do it if I was paving and stuff, just do. So, so we know we are within a few millimetres of it. Now we need to get the base plate, which I'm bringing over right here. That's what we want to get on. We're using our electric drill, electric screwdriver, whatever you call it. We keep that right there in the centre and then we just eyeball it. Yeah, we good? Yeah, let's make sure that's straight up. And then, yes, let's get that down. Finally. I think I need to change the drill bit eventually. That's because you're using a screw bit. Oh no, probably just some cheap B and Q gear. Not titanium. And then we'll just reach over, grab the screwdriver from the wall, and make sure it's super tight. By the way, if you're still watching this. Thanks you are still it. watching Don't this. Don't forget to subscribe to Bushcraft Tools no, YouTube this out. channel. This out. Give us a like, you know, drop it. a comment, subscribe, share it with your friends and all that. Interact with it, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't really matter. It all comes down to interaction, nah. boosting that that where it that position in the algorithm. Blocking. Keyword algorithm. Blocking. Right, Blocking. here we go. Blocking We've got all. this on, let's go to the lathe. Cancel him. Cancel him. Cancelled. Game cancelled. Lathe wise, I'm just gonna use this tool. So if you look there, as I adjust this, what will happen is these teeth, whatever they're called, they'll open up. And as I open up, you right there? He's trying to take his jacket off. Take my jacket off, mate. It's nice and warm in here. We've created a nice little uh, microclimate with our, so I've tightened our body up. warmth. The north and south divide coming together to bring you amazing content. And I'm turning this, by the way. This is going to be my bowl. This is, yeah. This is Which I will bowl. treasure. Oh, I might give away. You can take back with you up north. Make it hard. Toughen it up a bit. Have your gravy and chips out of it, whatever you northerners eat. Yeah. Careful. <laughs> Careful, mate. You've got a lot of northerners watching Hey, if anyone up north is watching, and then the greetings from the... No, no, nah, nah, he's already... He's dug his grave, lads. Alright, there we he's go. Got a so the next ticket. thing we want to do is grab the first tool we want. However, safety first, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put that down. We're going to grab maybe a glove for the left hand and goggles. I don't need goggles, man. I've got goggles as well. Let's just call it one of these. What is it? A mask. Right, Covid mask, yeah. Covid mask. Let's go for... So, double check this. So, back to this. We're making sure that, yes, this cross section, by tightening this, yes, it's nice and tight. It's not going to move anywhere. That is nice and secure. 
let's double check this to make sure it's super tight. Oh, wrong way. Yep, super tight. So we know that wood is gripped on. All we've got to do now is turn the lathe on. And I think I've left it in high speed, so let's drop it down to low speed. There we are, low speed lathe. This is it, this is the business end of it now. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, is it? Do I get any safety gear or? I'll just rely on being normal. Hey, no, no, He's getting his silence of the lambs gear on First now. First of all, you're in trouble. I just want to let you all know that I do also cut keys and I repair shoes and handbags, but only if they're crocodile leather. So if anyone's got anything, please send it to me. Comment below, send it to Hayes, not forward <laughs> it to me. Didn't you also have a nephew called Penerfia at one point in your life? <laughs> right, that's real. Back real to it. Right, hold on. There right. we go. So, if I hold my, my tool, my chisel to it, you're going to hear it suddenly bounce, go because that we can already see if I lift it. Is it? We can see it's not even. So listen to this, it's going to go because it's not even. We're going to shave it down to get this thing even, nice and round, and that way when we put it on, it'll be a smooth. Right, let's go. Yeah. little bit at a time, it's really messy. Hold on. Are you filming me using me for content for your YouTube channel? <laughs> no, because if I was using it for content for YouTube channel, it would be this. Come on. Right. So we're going to just continue. Let's speed it up a little bit. So that there, that's the gearing, that's the speed. I'll just speed it up. I'll just sped it up a little bit. Thank you, right? It. In fact, you know what? Let's quickly sharpen this. You got to hold that. Is there a resistance there? Have you got to hold that quite tight. My left hand is actually. I'm pressing down onto it, and I'm, I'm pushing down with pressure because yeah. I don't want this to suddenly whoop go all over the face because yeah. it could create a big problem. Yeah. You can see now it's already getting a lot smoother. Now let's try that test again by putting this on there. By the way, your lens is really dirty. Testies, testies. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see if it's any smoother. It's a lot smoother, No, bumpy, it? bumpy this time. I think it still needs another millimetre or two. Okay. I'm pretty happy. This is now smooth. Let's have a feel. And look at the grain on that. This is ashes, by the way. See, it's smooth. Remember, it's going to be smoother once it's polished down, as in once we pull out the sandpaper, take it right down to maybe a 6 or an 800 grit, and then we're going to add a finish to it. He says we, but me. Hey, your battery's dead. Oh, My first bowl laving turning kit. That's right way around, yeah? Yeah, that's right, right. Maybe move your left hand up a bit, a bit more, and just maybe a lot of power down. I mean, just with your finger, come in contact with that, yeah. that tool rest, so you kind of know where you are. Yeah. And don't yeah. let it, just go slowly in, don't let it jump in. Woo. Don't do that, yeah, just shave it. Shave it all the way that way. Just shave it. Wow. 
that was a natural. Right, that'll do. I'm going to turn it off. By lifting that, I press the red button. <laughs> I've just gone up to 15% more manly. <laughs> I remember we want to leave quite a thick wall because we can always finish the wall later on. We want to take the majority of the inside out to hollow it out. So slowly start on one edge and follow all the way down. How satisfying that looks. Oh, satisfying. It's so, like, it's like therapy. Not here, look. <laughs> it's not a sort of serial killer, right? Gently chain away. So, next time you go in, try and put a little bit more, try and put like 10% more pressure on it. And you're going to see, you're going to start to take out more and more chunks. Look at this. Sounds good, I'm always going to build on the wall a bit. She's rough. I mean, I'd call up north, that'd be finished. But apparently down here, we've got to make it look a, li a lot more beautiful. So what stage are we at now, Dustin? Um, I think let's just, let's just sort out the bottom of the bowl, get the inside finished. Then we're going to come back to the outside and make the outside look like a bowl. I like it. Cool. Yeah. In fact, as Hayes has probably got coronavirus, uh, I mean, do, sorry. Don't say chlamydia, don't say chlamydia. Cut that. Let's go back to this. So, as there's probably lots of dust in the air, I might just put my mask on. I'm leaving that in. I might cut the bit about chlamydia out, but that will let you stay in. <laughs> So we're at this stage now, we've just we've just de-nippled it because yeah, it did have a little timber nipple in the middle of it but that's been de... We've, uh, we've surgically removed that. Right, so it's starting to take shape, it's starting to look a little bit bowly. It is, yeah. So what's the next stage? Let's go back to the outside. In fact, there's a little bit there. Right, we've got a little bit of... Yeah, you see, you can see it there. there. Right, I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to use another tool. Which one should we go for? This one. I'm just going to, I'm just going to round off the step on that little ledge. That little what, what, that ridge? What do you call we'll it? We'll call it a ledge. Stick with ledge. So just get on with it? Get on with it. Yeah. Stop it. Like, just take it. Right, go. I need my visor. Yeah. Safety first, isn't it? Oh, safety second, beers first. <laughs> right, I'm going to dab under this now. We're just going to work from the outside in and clean this edge up, you see. Ever so gently.
it's so satisfying to see the little changes in the wood as you're going along. Like with the chisel, it's, it's, it's blatant, but with this, it's ever so slight. You can see the grain changing, and you can follow it along. Okay. It's so you satisfying, man. Already, it's getting quite shiny. Yeah, you can see that grain's popping now, look. Oh, that's lovely. So, there's a few lines. See those lines there? Yeah. If we if we keep going with that, because it's pretty... Yeah. It's pretty good. It's rough sandpaper. I, th I think keep going on that lower third. Maybe lower half. Keep going for another 30... 30 seconds on there. Yeah. And then we're going to change the sandpaper for a different grade. We're now going to move on to a 150. Here we go. Which... Is a lot finer for the people that don't know. And is this our final grip? No, no, we've got it. We're going further, more. we're going further, of course we have. Yeah, I've inadvertently stuck a feature on this bowl by holding it in one place and then it burns. Just and the it's friction left. that builds up the heat, it just burns it. Made a lovely little feature of it though, so we'll try and do that again at the end if we end up sandpapering that bit off. Already feels so good. Look at that. Look at that grain, man. Look how tight it is. Lovely right bit of grain. Lovely. Nice. Very nice. Wow, look at that. Wow, that looks good. I think we'll do that. A That's double. a nice bowl. Double the thing grain. is, what I normally do is I do that burn right at the end once I've sanded everything down to how I want it. I then put the burn in. The problem is because we're still moving down in grades of sandpaper. It's gone too early. We're gonna, we've done it too early, exactly. We've, we've, came to, we've peaked too early. I nearly said came, but we've peaked too early. Let's, let's just do that again. I mean, let's sand it all down the next grade. Like, there's like maybe what, two, I think two more grades to go. And there we are. That's our, look at that. It's our final grade. You can see the light reflecting off it. Stunning. Right, it just needs a bit of oil rubbed into it. You don't rub that right, it's turning now, you just keep it as is. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, go on then. Oil her up. Now, what do you want to use? You want to use a bit of linseed oil? It's going to be eaten out of the. I use that for cricket bats and shit. I might use that from cat Do you want to use this sesame, using it. Using sesame and honey? Linseed makes it look better, so let's go linseed. Let's, let's have it as an ornament. And um, we're just going to use some raw, I assume it's raw linseed oil. Yeah. Yeah, just raw linseed oil. So boiled linseed oil. Boiled. Alright, now watch this. Watch this pop. Look at that. Would you give it a double one though? Would you let it dry off and then do oh, it yeah, again? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll do two or three. Because this will absorb straight into it. oiling it, yeah. Because it's a little bit warm as well, so that'll help it yeah. become a bit more porous. So that's it outside done. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, you can really see that burnt bit popping out there. That's yeah. lovely. Okay, so now we are done. And now let's take it off. It's like an award ceremony in many ways, isn't it? I've earned my... There you go, look. I've made it. Made it in life. I've made it. There you go. But look at that beautiful grain. Beautiful grain. So tight in places. Look at that. Look at this bit here. Like a little uh, life thingy on it at the hospital. That's great. Look at that. There you go. I've made me a bowl. I'm proud of that. Thank you, Dustin, for letting me turn my own bowl. He sort of held my hand, but after about five minutes, he could tell that I was a professional. And look at this. Because I didn't even know about it, but... I've put a little bit of burntness around there to make a it a bit of uniqueness to your bowl. Yeah, uniqueness to my bowl. So thanks for watching. I'll leave links to Dustin's YouTube shenanigans downstairs. And uh, I'll catch you soon.